Jesus said it best in his own words. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. See, that's why Jesus came. So even though you can't imagine, imagine a life of freedom, can I tell you, your imagination can be superseded through one childlike prayer. God, I recognize who you are and that you sent your son to die for me and that I need him in my life. I love you, come into my life and take control. Can you imagine? Today can be the first day of the rest of your life. So I'm gonna ask you to do something because it would be wrong of me to have this amazing service and to present such unbelievable and profound truth and yet not give you an opportunity to respond. So I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor. Would you bow your heads all across this building and would you begin to ask the Lord to search your own heart and your own life? And if you're here this morning and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or maybe you said a prayer maybe a long, long time ago, and you want the reality of Christmas to come into your life today, I want to give you an opportunity. Guys, if you'd bring the house lights up just so I could see just a little bit, please, I appreciate it. Christians, I'm going to ask you to be praying, but this is the most important thing that we're going to do in this entire service is to give you an opportunity to respond to the love of God. So if you're here this morning, you don't know Christ, when I count the three, would you just raise your hand and say, Pastor, that's me. I want you to pray for me. I want to ask Jesus to come into my life. I want to experience the love of God. I want to know what it is to be completely forgiven. I, know, I want to know what it is to have a brand new start. I want to know. I want to know what it is to encounter the creator of the universe. So all over this building, every man, woman, boy, girl, from the left to the right, to the front and the back. Don't worry about who's on the left or the right of you. Listen, friend, I want you to know something. Right now, in the sacredness of this moment, as the Spirit of God is already dealing with you, and you sense and you feel that tug of war that's in your heart, I'm gonna ask you not to worry about anything else, but what does the Lord say about you right now? Is he calling you home? Is he asking you to come to him, your heavenly father? He loves you, friend. We love you. And that's why we've put all this together. And that's what's brought us to this one moment right here. God imagined this moment before the foundations of the world were put into place. That you would be here in this building right now. Let's don't let this moment go. In fact, this could be the greatest Christmas you've ever had. Because there is no Christmas without Christ. So I'm going to count the three again. I'm going to ask you to respond all over this building. One, two, listen to me. Put it up right away. Let's be in business this morning and let's move on. But let's, let's be in business with God this morning. One, two, right now. Three, come on, put them up. My hands are going up. Come on, put them up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the balcony, let me look up here. Start up here from my left to right. Come on, put them up right away. We're going to pray. Thank you, Lord. Now down here on the main level, one more time. Come on, put them up real high so I can see you. Say, Pastor, pray for me. Now as our elders and pastors come, I'm going to ask you to do something, friend. I think that's so very, very important. Because see, I believe that your journey and your walk of faith begins here today. I'm going to ask you, if you raised your hand, or you should have raised your hand, would you get out of your seat? Join me right here at the front of this church. I want to introduce you to the person of Jesus Christ this morning. He's here. I want you to get out of your seat and I want you to come. Come on, church, let's, let's encourage him. Isn't this going to be great? Friend, if you're in the balcony, you're worth waiting on. I want you to come. Come on. And I want all of us to just join in this prayer this morning. And let's say this prayer together. Can we say this together with those that are here? And with all of us that are in this room. And I, I know it's a big thing to come down to the front. Or maybe you're, you've let pride or you've let something come in your heart. I understand. But I want you to don't let this moment pass right here. 
With eyes closed, say this prayer with me all over this building. Say, dear Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner and I need you in my life. I accept your gift of forgiveness, of love, and of grace. And from this moment on, I ask you to be the Lord and leader of all that I am. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a good praise for that. That truly is the spirit of Christmas. Can everybody say amen? Amen. 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 Well, we're so glad that you're here on behalf of the board and staff. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But would you stick around just for a moment longer as we celebrate our cast and our, those that are involved in our production today with one last number. God bless you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>